Good day to you, stout yeoman. May I make use of your bridge? Oh, uh, I don't see why not. Excellent, thank you. Uh, I say there, there seems to be quite a large hole in the middle. But I'm not entirely sure what you want me to do about it. You assured me I could use your bridge. And it's in a state of disrepair. Well, I don't know what you want me to do about it. I'm, I'm not an engineer. Well, couldn't you call one or something? I mean, after all, you are the proprietor. You own the bridge, do well, you uh, not? on the contrary, no. I, I have nothing to do with this bridge. And why on earth are we having this conversation? This is ridiculous. You've been leading me on for the last couple of minutes at least. Look, you're the idiot who assumed that a man sleeping near a bridge happened to own it. Who the fuck are you calling an idiot? How dare you? Well, you must be. I mean, it's a ridiculous assumption to make, isn't it? I'm in a good mind to give you a damn good thrashing. Well, fuck off. I don't need to take this sort of nonsense from you. You couldn't bang out a wank. Keep talking like that, and I'll take you to the fucking cleaners. Right, right, I warned you. I'll show you. Come on, then, you stupid dickhead. Yes, that showed him. Ooh, I think I've just witnessed a murder, and as a tabloid journalist, the public will find out. <coughs> Hello, sir. Can I have a word with you, please? Yes, of course. We have reason to believe you were involved in a murder in 1993. Uh, 93? No, don't think so. Yeah, that's good enough for me. Splendid. Bye.